Hi guys, this is Smart Physics tutorial for conducting loop moving through a constant magnetic field. Very cool. <laughs> so we have this loop, and this is a square, this is a square, entering a constant magnetic field. Okay. And we have the length of this magnetic field, we have the um, strength of this magnetic field, we have the resistance of this loop, and we have um, the velocity that's the loop is entering the magnetic field. Okay, so the first question is asking um, at time equal 0 0.016. By the way, you can read the question down in the description down here. Okay, so at time equal point, point 0.016, um, what is the induced current in the loop? Okay. Alright, so let's see what's the distance here. The distance will be V times T, and V we have it, which is um, 0.59 times the time, which is 0 0.016, and you will get a value which is, let me use my calculator, 0 0.59 times 0 0.016, and you will get value that is um, 0 0.00944 okay all right that means that the only part of this um, this segment of the um, the loop is entering it so when we do the um, the i equal emf over r and this guy is B V times the S one over R. Okay, so this will give you the the I. Okay, and if you let's see, like what direction the current is will be going. So when this enters the magnetic field, it it is gaining um, dots. Okay, and the loop doesn't like that. He will induce a current to um, produce a magnetic field that opposes this one against it, which is he will produce axes now. So to produce axes, we need a current that's going clockwise to make our thumb pointing into the screen. Okay, so it's gonna go clockwise. Cool. All right. So question number two is asking at time equal point four oh two point four oh two second. Um, where is the induced current in the loop? Okay, let's do the same. So let's plug in point um, four oh two times the velocity of it, 0.59 and we'll get 2, 3 so the distance will be 0.23718 okay and the L here was 0.183 one, one, um, cool so that means that um, This guy will be will be already out, and this guy is get, being like going out now, so it's kind of gonna be look like this. So this is two, three, seven. This where this um, the S one will be, and one eight three. So this guy will be like around here. So it's kind of going to look like this. Okay. This is where it's still the magnetic field. This is where it stop. Okay. So now this guy is going out. So now if you look at this, the um, the loop is losing dots. So it's going to induce a current to induce um, a field that's 
um, like getting more dots so to get more dots we need our thumb to go up and our finger to curl so it's gonna look like this so our thumb the current will be going this way okay which is this is clockwise so the current here is clockwise okay so we'll do the same which is I equal EMF over R this is B V this is S2 over R cool don't forget it's clockwise and this one is no this is counterclockwise well counterclockwise okay counterclockwise this is clockwise this is counterclockwise okay and in the question this is defined to be positive and this is defined to be um, negative <sighs> okay so number three is asking um, what is the fx at t equal to the x component of the force that must be applied to the loop to maintain its constant velocity v59 point centimeters da, da, da. okay so at time equal 0.402 um, this will be the i that we're using so the force is equal to um, I L cross B cool okay so we got the I that's going in the, into the loop and the L here is the is this guy which is the S2 and the magnetic field is is which one it's this guy here Yeah, the magnetic field is the one we, we they gave us in the question. It's 1.6. Okay. So, yeah, just put your numbers in and you'll get your answer. The cross product we eliminated because sine of pi over 2 is 1. And it's going to be always the same over the um, magnetic field here. Okay. All right. Then you'll get your answer in Newton. All right. So number four is asking. Um, at time equal point three two seven seconds. What is the I three induced current in the loop? Okay, so now they're asking about 3, 2, 7 at this time. Okay, if you look at this time, it's, let's see exactly where is it, D equal 3, 2, 7 times the B, which is 59. Let's put this in the calculator. 0. 0.327 times 0. 0.59. And we got... One nine two nine. Okay. So where is this guy on the one here? You'll find that um, it's gonna be almost here. Let me draw this again. So this is one nine two nine, and this is where the magnetic field stop so it's one eight three okay so if you subtract those so this sub subtracted from point one eight three you'll get point zero zero nine nine okay which is um, which the s1 is bigger than this which means part of this will be like this oh, excuse my drawing this should be in here okay so the one that's moving is 
this part here. So this is the induced current. And it's going to be the same as number 1. But since now we're, we're losing dots, then the induced current will produce um, more dots. Okay, so to produce more dots, it's our thumb um, points in the magnetic field and our fingers curl with the direction of the current. So it's going to go this way, which is counterclockwise. This one is also counterclockwise. Clockwise. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, now. Yeah, so this answer is the same as the one from number one, but it's counterclockwise. It was clockwise, but now it's counterclockwise. Okay, cool. So number five is asking. Um, so let me draw this real quick. Um, it's not like this. So this is the magnetic field. Uh, this is our cute loop. Okay. This is our loop again. Okay. So they're asking uh, which which one. Of, oh shit! You can't see that. Okay. So which one of these the current induced is more? Well, my guess was this guy, because when you get from when you get your answer from um, from this part, this part was less than less than this guy by a lot and the answer from number one was 0 0.0195 and from number two it was 0 0.0505 okay so when this is entering this field this will each one will get a uh, different one a different one like opposite this one will induce like this one will induce like this Okay, so don't get like um, think different because this um, so the change when this is getting n is point zero five zero five, okay, and when this is going out, it's inducing point zero one nine five, okay. So when you subtract these, you'll get a number that's let's see. Point zero five zero five minus point zero one nine five you'll get point zero three one okay and this one by itself it's point zero one nine five okay so which one is bigger yeah it's this guy is bigger okay so this guy is bigger than this guy the I from this and they called it that I2 is bigger than I1. Okay. Sorry for taking long to do it. Well, well I hope this helped and good luck, my friend.